and welcome back to another video on the PMK podcast. Now, we are at the BFI, as you can see, on London South Bank, because we're here covering the BFI Flare Festival. Catherine Ellis is here, obviously. Now, we were going to do this review the other night, but sadly, rather inconveniently... Sadly, fell over on the way to the, the theatre. The bruise was worse, I'm not just being dramatic. No, he was in a lot of pain. He had to yeah. be helped on with his jacket. You just weren't up to setting up no. equipment, were you? But it doesn't matter. I so the other night, things. we went to the Wimbledon New Theatre and we saw La Cage au Folle. You meant to actually say it as La Cage au Folle, like your Well, you Zaza. just said it now. That was easy. Is it Zaza? Welcome to La Cage au Folle. <laughs> um, starring John Partridge. Yeah. He was absolutely fantastic. I know that he's a great actor, but it's the first time that I've really opened my eyes to him as an actor, because we saw him in reality TV, and obviously he was being himself in that, because yeah. it's reality TV, but as an actor, wow. I was just but what a role though, I mean he gets to, you know, it's such a fantastic role, Al, the role of Alvin. I think he owned it, and I think he loved that role, I think it was part of him. That's how oh, I definitely. saw it. I saw it as, you know, his inner drag queen coming out. Yeah. For John Parker. But what a role, you know, he gets to sing, perform, dress up. And then, you know, there's some very touching scenes in it as well. Did you cry, Catherine Ellis? I don't know if I, I don't know if I did actually cry, but I was moved when he sings I Am What I Am and he sends um, the Cagettes, are they? The yeah, ca Cagels. The Cagels, the, the other drug queens, he just sends them off the stage and he just sort of sings it to himself and that was that was very moving. Well, you've seen the movie. I haven't seen the movie. Well, the movie is um, The Birdcage, yeah. but it's but this is a musical, but The Birdcage is it's, it's not it's not a musical, it's a, a movie adaptation. It's pretty much the same story. And obviously it's an American movie. This is a British stage mm. adaptation. So he's a Mancunian. Because I googled him after, I saw him on Loose Women, and I detected a hint of Midlands okay. accent, but I could be wrong. But, but a yeah. lot of my friends have had that issue where, you know, he's he's playing a Mancunian, and it's a really strong Mancunian accent. Yeah. And it's quite pantomime, obviously, because it's about a drag queen. Yeah, it was an interesting choice. Culture. But it actually, I saw those comments on your page, and yeah. it didn't actually bother me. It didn't bother Once me I got either. over the initial shock, because there's quite a lot of build up to this Alban character before he comes on stage, and we meet. Uh, Georges, Ad Adrian, uh, played Smed. by Adrian Zmed, yeah. um, it's set in Saint-Tropez and it's all sort of quite glamorous up until then and then he comes on he's like, all right, love, you yeah. know, so it's a bit like, but then why not? Why wouldn't he be? Yeah. Well, well set, the, set the story because the, the story is, it's about a club, Le Cage au Folle obviously means the cage of mad women, I think, isn't it, mm. or mad queens, mm. or the bird cage, as in the yeah. movie, but it's about a club, isn't it? That he's the club host, Adrian Smed, yeah. George. Well, I would say really it's about these two, Alben and George, who've been together for 20 years, and George has a son from a one night stand whose mother is sort of not really on the scene. And so Alban has been a mother to him. And it's when um, this son grows up and falls in love and wants to bring round his girlfriend's parents. Uh, the father of whom is a, a political figure in the town who's very anti-gay and anti-having yeah. fun and wants yeah, very... to basically clean up saint and get rid of, well, it, the club along with other things. And what really mattered was that Albin had, you know, brought this, this guy up and, and really loved him. And he, you know, in the end that, uh, it's very funny the way they portray it, but that was that. I thought that the main point of, of the whole thing really was just the importance of family and real relationships. And you know, all not all families are a, a man and a woman and two children and happily ever after. No. We've got all sorts of different families. The, the conventional we? family yeah. is about breaking down the, the barriers and taboos. Obviously, because you're a musician, you're a singer songwriter. Yeah. I wanted to ask you about the music because I thought the music was fantastic. Yeah. And I've got to say, the singing in it, John Partridge especially, yes. I never knew he had a voice like no. the well, voice he had on stage. It he's was made incredible. Albums. I never knew this. Yeah. And he has such a powerful voice and he really was holding the notes to, to an extent of power. It's mm. like it's not easy to have that power, I think, no, when you're on stage. I mean, good. yes, you've got the amplification, you've got the mics and everything, but it's it's holding the notes. So there was a it? great scene in in the musical where we become the audience in his show and it's kind of like he's doing stand up yeah. for us. And yeah. I thought that was really clever. And I noticed someone on your page had put, oh, I thought it, it was, was a bit, bit pantomime. But I didn't think it was. I thought well, it was great. I thought I it was like really clever. I like the interaction clever. because it, it did fuse 
traditional theatre with a bit of something else that you'd yeah. expect in well, you like had a comedy the experience routine of or being in the club and being, like being entertained in a comedy club. being entertained by him there was one moment where you leant across to me because there were some girls kicking yeah. off behind it in a good way because they were enjoying it and getting to the spirit of it and you said oh it's a bit butlins but you meant it as a joke <laughs> but then I thought oh it's a bit head night isn't it but yeah, I kind of went with it they I didn't were probably mind that. fans of his or something yeah, it was yeah. all over sort of the right hand side of the theatre so they were all sort of like wah but I love that because it really yeah, it, was good. it added to the atmosphere yeah, it, wasn't, it was quite electric wasn't, wasn't saying it saying it was like being in butlins wasn't a, um, a criticism no it's an observation. I actually thought it was fantastic. The whole show, I loved yeah, it. Yeah, I thought brilliant. it was fantastic. And I'd love to see it again, actually. Yeah, me too. And it's very rare when I get a musical where I want to go a second time. Because mm. once you've seen a musical, you enjoy it. Yeah. Um, but you don't necessarily want to see it again. But there was just one scene that when he was doing the, the kind of um, the show, you know, the performance to the audience show part, where he, there was just this silence, and then he suddenly makes this guttural noise where he just sort of goes, oh. yeah, yeah. and it was just hilarious, <laughs> it wasn't was. it? Because there was silence there. Because <laughs> normally when you've got it, silence, you want to fill it, but they didn't, didn't have to. do anything for yeah. quite a while after that. And the, I mean, the talent for someone to just make that noise and get such a laugh yeah. and such a reaction for it to just be so funny. I just thought he was super. I think that was the beauty of his performance especially was that you could see his facial expressions was the funny part of his mm. character. It wasn't necessarily about what he was saying, although mm. that was funny too. It was about how he was portraying the character mm. and how he looked as well as how but he But he trained as a ballet dancer initially, so yeah. he's very physical and I think he does just use his whole body in yeah. his performance. I thought the was... costumes. Yeah. I wanted those pink fluffy mules and the purple hair that he yeah. had, the purple wig, the pink wig, to go with the purple... I just thought the costumes were magnificent. That's two and a half hours. For me, that flew by, apart from the fact I was well, suffering with my it's three hours wound, with the interval, isn't it? Yeah. I thought it was great. Yeah, so La Cage Fall. La Cage Fall. Big thumbs up from us, a big wounded thumb from me. Right, I'm getting earache now because <laughs> the wind is really cold. <laughs> Bye. It's not the bottom either. <laughs> PMK <laughs> TV. Look, why are you doing my harmony? <laughs> sing the, the melody and I'll sing the harmony. Okay. PMK <laughs> TV. <laughs> That wasn't even harmonising, you've got to teach me. Just sing TV. Okay. K TV. <laughs> I think we have to work on this. <laughs>